I started singing when I was six. I remember because my dad recorded me when he heard me singing something. He's like, oh, you're really good. And then, and I wasn't, but he recorded me anyway. And there's evidence. Then it just, it just like never, it was not there. Dad's just loved music since he was young. And so he brought all of us up on all the artists that he loved, like the Beatles and Bob Dylan. And he just loved music. I don't think I know anyone else who loved as much as him. So music was just always there. Like I, I just kept singing mainly because Dad was like, oh, you should sing for this. I'd do like talent shows and that was fun. And I was really shy, but so shy when I was a kid. Oh baby, oh baby, oh, we both feel the same. I'm not gonna give you my... But then singing, for some reason I could do it. I didn't get too nervous once I started, but I just did it. It wasn't like a, oh my gosh, I love this so much. It was just what I did getting a bit older and getting into your teens and stuff, you're figuring yourself out. It's really hard for kids, if you don't have a thing, you're a bit lost. It's years, like, you start actually being aware of identities and, you know, like, oh, that person, they're a good runner, or that person, they're that. I was like, oh, cool, this is my thing. I have something that is me that I can kind of keep working on. And I never thought about it until one of my cousins talked to me. And we were just young. And she was like, oh, you're a singer. Like, I don't know what I want to be. I don't know what I want to do. And even at that age, I think for kids, we're starting to stress out a bit because there's a lot of pressure to be like, oh, this is me. This is what I'm doing. And I think there's, that's the thing. There's no end, end to it. I think it's just my life now. It's, there is no separate me. Just, it's just music is like my 24 7. It's just gonna be that for the rest of my life. So I studied for four years in the end. I did a diploma and then a Bachelor of Musical Arts and I loved it. I loved studying music. Constantly I was trying to like figure out myself and my music at the same time and like so that whole thing was happening. That's is when I was so invested in it. Trying to finish things and I was just in a really stuck place in all areas of my life, I think. Someone mentioned to me that oh you can get this visa to the States. Um, one year after you graduate, um, and if you're a Kiwi or someone mentioned it, and I was like, oh wow, and then I was like, oh, New York. It was definitely for music, but it was for myself. And I remember going over there, and I was like, I wanted two things out of it. I wanted personal growth and music, musical growth. Just learn, like just soak up everything I could and get lost. Yeah, before I left, I was like, cool, I'm gonna finish an EP. I'm gonna release my first songs finally and then I'm going to release them and start a new stage in my life because there were songs that in 2013 that are on the EP now that I could never let go of like I wrote and threw stuff away but my song High Off You I wrote in 2013 my first demo was from that and it took me till 2016 to finish it so I worked with a couple of my friends Amazing musicians and producers, uh, we were just like, cool, there's these songs, let's just work on them until they feel good. Recorded them, mastered them, like, I did it all myself, funded it myself. Um, and then it was, it literally was timing, I just, music blog Hilly Dilly reached out to me, among other people, but I knew of the blog, I was like, oh, okay, this, this guy's cool, and we started talking. It just um, happened really organically, and it was just timing was crazy but I didn't um, put anything on moving except just on personal but I just wanted to find what I was missing. Someone said to me before I left that they're like um, when you go places you've never been that's when you learn most about yourself because all of your exterior um, is changing constantly but you are the only constant in all those different places learn more about yourself and how you react in these because 
all you've ever been is home and you know these people and these people know you from school or whatever and so there's so much weight added to who you are through all the perceptions of the people but if you go out by yourself to places you've never been you've never put a mark anywhere if you want to know more about yourself that's the answer is to get yeah like go out of your comfort zone and go places you've never been I one day I could actually make income and not have to work a nine to five and just do music. Like I almost forgot that for a bit. I was just like, oh, this is just how it is. <laughs> you just invest, invest, invest. Like my self doubt comes from perception of not only myself, but where others are at. I'm like, I'm not good enough. They're doing so much better than me. They sound better, blah, blah, blah. And that's the culture now is you're constantly sh shown what you should be. And sh should is just such an awful word. But I think people need to hear that these beautiful, perfect people are going through so much shit as well. Everyone has their own shit they're going through, no matter who it is. And I think everyone just sees the finished product always. And for me, one of the biggest things, I discovered I was going through depression when I was like 21. And for so long, a year before that, I was like, something's wrong with me, why am I unhappy? There's no reason, I've got this, this and this in my life. What's wrong with me? And it wasn't until I learned that every second person you walk past on the street is going through that too. If you're just in your head by yourself going, something's wrong with me, something's wrong with me, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. That can just be so detrimental to yourself. There is no reason you should ever make fun of someone for devaluing their emotion. Be like, why are they crying over that? You know, that whole crying over spilt milk. No, let them cry. There could be so much more stuff going on. Like, exterior is so deceiving. Social media is deceiving. I think why people love music so much is because, especially like pain, heartbreak, and love is just a common theme for the music, you know. People connect to music because they're like, Oh my god, that person is feeling exactly what I'm feeling. You know, there'll be so many songs that you have, you're like, that's me, that's that's not anyone else's, that's literally what I'm going through right now. And that is why music is so powerful, and that's why I love the artists that I love. That's why there's certain songs that just like came into my life at the right time, as much as I need it to express myself and understand myself. I like to make my own music, like maybe someone will need it more than me. Maybe someone needs falling order more than I ever did, you know? Let it out, let it out. Falling out of expose your soul. Now I know, now I know that when the city beats too loud and I just can't drown it out, you bring me clarity. I write music because I want to understand how I'm feeling and I want to express and articulate it because the most beautiful thing is hearing another song 
perfectly describing what you're going through. It's almost as if it's like people need that, everyone needs that. To be told what you're going through is not only you.